Uh, Shalom, Apostle Hart coming back at you with this truth, giving all praise to you, how about Shemmy, how shy. For you men out there, and the, and, and the few of you women that listen to us, and I'm talking about the uh, elect or the hopeful elect, and starting from the apostles on down. You know, we're almost out of here. And I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I'm going to sound like a broken record. Uh, the main thing we should be pushing right now are these uh, end time prophecy, prophecies because we're at the end of this thing and um, a major prophecy has just taken place in the U.S. with this uh, Wisconsin company, the first company in the U.S. to uh, chip their employees. Now, I believe there's 85, when you read the story, uh, the name of the company is uh, Three, Three Square Market. And um, I believe there's 85 employees that work there. And um, I believe 50 of them agreed to be chipped. So you're gonna have a lot of people that's gonna agree to, to take that microchip. And uh, eventually it will become mandatory as we've been saying for years we here at great millstone been saying this since we got on youtube and even before we got on youtube uh, anyway i'm going to show you something if you can see it this is the chip right here that's the chip that's the actual chip that one of the brothers from one of the camps I believe it was from uh, GMS out there in the, uh, the West, I believe the LA camp sent this to me. But that's the chip. That's the chip right there. And what they do is they put it right here, right where you, this part is, they put it right in there. There's a video that I put up on in, um, another page, YouTube page of this big nose Edomite, but he could be uh, Southern Italian. And he put a, actually had a, a chip put inside of his uh, chest. I believe the left side to uh, monitor his heart because he has a heart condition, if I'm not mistaken. So it monitors that. They're going to make this thing so popular so that nobody can worry about whether they, they have diabetes or whatever. The, the, the chip will monitor all of that. And I guess compu communicate with your, your doctor. So you will become a part of the, uh, the Internet of Things. The Internet, look that word up, the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is where your whole, you get, you get um, appliances or uh, appliances, you got your TV, you got your uh, coffee maker, you got your microwave, you know, you got your uh, a laptop computer, you got your uh, desktop computer, and you can, you can got, you got your smartphone where you can uh, use your smartphone to turn on your, your TV set if it's a TV, if it's a smart TV, but you can turn your regular TV into a smart TV by using uh, Chromecast or uh, either uh, Chromecast or uh, uh, Fire Sticks or one of those uh, devices, even Apple TV. And basically you can, um, you know, you can take your smartphone and turn it, let's say you misplace your, uh, your, um, your remote for the TV, you can use your smartphone. And if you have two TVs and they're both smart TVs, one in the living room, another one in the bedroom or whatever, Sometimes when you go to a format in one TV, it'll change the format in the other room, even when the TV, the other uh, flat screen TV is not even on. Because that happened to me. Okay, but here it is. This is it. The chip. This is the chip we've been talking about. The mark of the beast. This is it. Anyway, I'm going to read a scripture or two. And then I'm going to close. This is the um, hour of temptation because you're going to be tempted. There's going to be a point 
there's going to be a point where this this microchip is going to be presented to you one way or another whether you work at a particular job you receive benefits eventually this thing is going to be a part of the whole system and their plan is to uh, chip everyone on the planet not everybody's going to take that chip you're going to have um, the ones that know in the know that the most I put the spirit on the elect they're not going to take that chip but the mass majority of the people are going to take that chip now whether they do it you know you might be a police officer and in order to use your gun or communicate with the headquarters you need that chip so if you don't know that this is in the scriptures you're going to take it or a lot of people know that it's in the scriptures the mark of the beast but they're going to take it anyway so i'm going to read this right here uh revelation 3 verse 10 it says because thou has kept the word of my patience the word of the most High's patience is you came into these scriptures and you were taught by men and that's the only way you you guys that put up all these videos you got got your youtube pages dealing with israel a lot of you guys if you're not from the original one west or if you're not from a great millstone or any from or any group from the original one west you watched either myself or either other uh, camps out there and you kind of do your own thing and you act like the spirit came to you the spirit didn't come to you. the spirit came the spirit came to us to teach us over us and we in turn taught you so now you got guys self-proclaimed gurus i would say that they're going all in the scriptures and then they 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 go into all the scriptures that we go into and then they go ahead and say well wait a minute they were going off on that it really means this then when you check the track record they might have started doing this thing back in 2010. what was you doing in 2009 2008 what was you doing in 2006 2005 2002 what were you doing in 1999 1995 that's the question so you know how jake is jake want to act like that they came up with this and that the spirit is exclusively dealing with them anyway it says 10 verse because thou has kept the word of my patience which you learned this word and you became a teacher and you went out on the highways and the byways and you kept doing it you kept doing it you kept going out on the highways and byways you kept pushing this word you didn't take breaks you didn't take five years off and then you see all these different Israelite groups out here and all of a sudden now you're an Israelite again you haven't kept the Lord's uh, patience it says because 10 verse because thou has kept the word of my patience I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world now the word world there is um, uh, oikumeni which means the inhabited earth so they attempt they're attempting to chip everybody it says to try them that dwell upon the earth and then then it says the dwell upon that dwell dwell upon the earth so the word world there is oikumeni so to test them that dwell upon the earth and the word temp, the word temptation simply simply means to test you you're going to be tested it said behold i come quickly behold that fast which thou hast which is this word this information this knowledge that no man take thy crown what crown that, that the crown in heaven that paul spoke about it says him that overcometh will i make a pillar in the temple of my power which is the when the kingdom is established and he shall go no more out and i will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power which is the new jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven and the, and the new jerusalem are the children of israel yeah, i was reading something yes last night 
I went to Google and I put in the third temple. And these Edomites, these scholars are talking about the third temple, which hasn't been built. And only, it's not even being built. And basically, them so-called Jews, they're saying that um, the Messiah will come. I believe it's... Uh, I believe it's, the, the number was 6,000, but it translates into A.D. or C.E., meaning the Christian era. Anytime you see B.C.E., it means before the Christian era. B.C. meaning before Christ. Um, uh, C.E. meaning Christian era, which, which, which also, it's, you can say it, you can say A.D., which is Anno Domini, the year of our Lord. Or CE means the same thing, Christian era, ADC, uh, uh, CE. So they're basically saying that that they're expecting to, the Messiah to come back and the temple to be the third temple to be built in the year 2240, I believe the number was. I know it was 22. So that's are you out your damn mind? That shows you that they don't understand what's going on. They don't understand the secrets. Of the Most High, which was given to um, uh, the the, the, the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai gave it to His prophets. So they're waiting for the Messiah to come. In 2240, I believe the number was 2240. So, so that's not going to come in, in their lifetime, showing you that they don't understand, and that they're looking for an actual building to be built up. And they can say, well, this is the third temple. Remember, you had two temples. You had the temple built by uh, so the Order of Solomon, and that was destroyed by the Babylonians. Then it was re rebuilt after the um, Israelite, the, the, the kingdom of Judah, after the, um, th they were under the Babylonians. And you go into the history of Cyrus and uh, the, the kings of the uh, Medio Persians, and they financed the building of the, the second temple. And then the second temple was destroyed during the time of the uh, Flavian um, dynasty, which during the key years, 70 AD. So now, they, now you have scholars waiting for the third temple to be built. And the third temple is being built right in front of your eyes. The third temple are the children of Israel starting with the elect. When you see all them camps out there teaching, and that even includes those Israelites that are not a part of us. They're part of the temple because ultimately we're going to come together. Everybody's talking about we got to come together. No, we're going to come together when the kingdom comes because the Most High is going to make a separation between the elect and the non-elect. If you're not of the elect, then you know, you're not going to make it. You have to be of the elect. That's the elect. It's going to start with the elect. Then the rest of Israel is going to come together. And that's the temple. When you read in... Um, I believe it's Revelation 21 about the new Jerusalem coming out of heaven and it also says it in this chapter right here. That new Jerusalem, which I just spoke of, spoke of is uh, the children of Israel, starting with the elect. So here these scholars are looking for when the, new, the third temple is going to start being built and when the Messiah came. The Messiah already came 2,000 years ago and he's coming back again very soon. Um... And we're living in a very exciting time because we're in the actual prophecy of the of the mark of the beast. Okay, it says uh, 12 verse. Um, 11 verse. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, which is which is this this information that no man take thy crown. Uh, 12 verse. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple. Of my my power and he shall go no more out and I will write upon him the name of my power and the, and the name of the city of my power which is New Jerusalem and New Jerusalem is us he gonna put his name in us um, which cometh down out of heaven what does it mean coming down out of heaven well we, we're gonna be beamed up out of here read um, Psalm 91 and we're going to see the reward of the wicked. And that, and that reward is going to be to two-thirds of Israel. Or the Israelites that are left on the soil of America. 
when this destruction comes, because not all Israelites are going to be beamed up. It says, uh, which 12 verse again, which middle of the 12 verse, which cometh down out of heaven from my power, and I will write upon him my new name. It says, uh, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. The church is talking about the seven churches of Asia Minor, which applies to us now. Okay, I'm going to go from here. One more scripture. And if you notice, you don't have to do a three-hour sit-down. You know, if the Spirit's on you to do it, you do it, you know. But I find that Spirit comes to you, makes you do a video. You might hit two, maybe three scriptures and hit the point. You know, you might, it might be a 20-minute video. You know, this is, this is, this is uh, you know, a quick understanding, meaning you're going to get this information, you're going to move on. Then it opens you up to ask more questions. Because the first lesson is, is, is the video that you're watching. The second lesson is the comment board when you ask questions. And sometimes somebody put a question, you go to check what was the question, you go to answer, and all of a sudden somebody else, three people answered his question, or somebody might do a, a video based on the question that he had. Okay, this is uh, Revelation 20. Verse 4. It says, um, and I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. And go back to the history of the apostles, some of them were beheaded. And um in this time some of the elect may be may be beheaded. It says for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High, which is the scriptures, and which had not worshipped the beast, and the beast, a lot of people use the term the beast and don't even understand the beast. When did the beast come on the scene? The beast came on the scene back, um, uh, starting at, uh, was it 49, uh, 1949, um, then you had, uh, which NATO was established, then you had um, uh, you had EU, which was set up in um, uh, 1958 and received the charter, I believe it was 1957, I believe they received the charter in um, 58. And then um, when they, you know, merged together, that was in, uh, well, that was when they came together. They came together during that time period. During that time period, that's when they came together. Because um, you have EU nations that are part of NATO. You have NATO nations that are part of uh, the EU. Now, the United States is a part of uh, NATO, a member of NATO, but not a part of the EU. Canada is part of NATO, but not a part of the EU. France is part of the EU and NATO. Britain is part of uh, the EU and NATO, so you can understand. So that's that beast. So the, so the mark would not be made mandatory until you have to have a beast first. You didn't have a beast during the time of King Solomon or during the time of... Uh, well, you had a beast. You had the beast, which is the Roman Empire, and now you have the Roman Empire all over again, which is known as NATO and the EU. So these same characters back there, these Caesars and these Senate, Senate, they're in council, they, they're back here today. It says, I'm, um, uh, fourth verse again, it says, And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded, for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High and which had not worshipped the beast because ultimately you get a particular job and you become a part of the system uh, neither his image and his image is his system it's not a, the, the picture of Caesar Bogier or Cesare Bogier 
or in their hands. Now you notice that it says hands, foreheads or hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. Uh, fifth, verse, fifth verse, it says, But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished, that this is the first resurrection. Now, it speaks about a second death. The second death, you're going to have Israelites going to suffer the second death. But they're going to come about within that, that first thousand years of us being in the kingdom. The ones of the Israelites out there that do, don't make it, they're going to come back to the Israelites that do make it. Anyway, with that, um, like I said earlier, we're living in a very exciting time. Uh, this is one of the major prophecies that are that, that taking place of what week we can have two weeks ago. And this thing is going to move quick, man, because before this place is, is destroyed, the system is destroyed, that the mark of the beast would have to be made mandatory to, according to the scriptures, to the whole earth. So the majority of people on this planet will take take that chip. There's going to be some people that's not going to take the chip, starting with the elect. You might have homeless people. You might have people living out in the woods that that might not take that chip. But the mass majority of the people that are, are part of this system, they're going to have to take that chip. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom. Um, make your comments to your, your response videos. Um, and like I said, I'm going to say it again. You learned this from us, starting from the apostles on down of Great Millstone. All right, I'm going to say this too. High Priest Ariah, I still refer to him as High Priest Ariah because he was one of the men that taught me one of the key men, and I asked him, um, if this was back in maybe 86, 87, whether the mark of the beast is an actual thing that they're going to put in your hand, and he said yes, because I knew about this back in the 70s, all right? I was always into the scriptures. I saw the movie, at, as a very young age, I saw the movie, The Late Great Planet Earth, and I remember uh, how Lindsay quoting... Um, uh, Zechariah 14 and 12 and he said that was talking about uh, nuclear uh, destruction and that st stuck in my ma mind when he said that I said yeah that makes sense so I knew about all these uh, prophetic things long before I woke up to the fact that I, I was Israel and I was told by several people that you're Israelite you're a Jew when I was a child you know you hear it from relatives and stuff but anyway um when I spoke to Ariar about it, he said, yes, that is, they are going to actually put a, a something in your hand on your forehead. And I remember, like he said yesterday, he said, but they're not going to have a time to do it. So it didn't make sense to me because I said, wait a minute, then why would it be in the scriptures? Because then back then, that's when the doctrine that Ariar was bringing out that we are, we're going to be out of here before the year 2000. And um, that was based upon Hosea. Uh, anyway, that was a stumbling block because a lot of individuals fell off after the year 2000. All right? So um, the ones you that fell off and stumbled over that year 2000 thing, you're out there. You're living life not realizing that uh, this place is going to be destroyed and you're going to be destroyed with it because you turned your back. You took your hands off the plow. Anyway, we're living in serious times. This is a major, major, major prophecy. When this prophecy, this place will not be destroyed unless this prophecy of the mark of the beast is fulfilled. And all you other camps out there that you're not even responding anymore. You're not even making response videos calling us stupid and bums and this. And we don't know what we're talking about. Not, now a lot of you and your, and, your, and your followers and your students, if they're watching our videos because... I don't know if you're telling them don't watch our videos, but they're going to get caught out there too. If the blind leave the blind, they shall both fall into a, a, a ditch, you know? The, the most High said, yeah, how about show me how shy I said, the deceived and the deceiver are, are, are both his. So the ones of you that, that's not meant to get it, you're not going to get it. You're going to be destroyed. And the ones of you that are meant to get it, of the elect, if you're of the elect, that's why we say hopeful elect. You're going to get this whole thing, and you're going to be protected. Anyway, with that, 
I'm gonna say um, I didn't want to make this too long. It went a little longer than um, I planned, but you know, hey, that's due to the power of the Most High. Anyway, I'm gonna say how about Shemi Al Shai? We almost out of here. Stay strong. The ones of you that have doubts, you better ask the Most High to to renew your spirit. You better start fasting and praying, and start reading them scriptures. That builds your faith. Faith. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.